What's going on guys and welcome back. In this video, I just want to introduce you guys to my W203 C200 compressor. So if you've been following me on YouTube, you would know that I've, I've been planning to introduce this car to the channel for a while now. And so finally, here we are, and I'm ready to start making videos on the W203. I wanted to make videos showing you guys basically the same things. How to DIY, some cool tips and tricks with the W203, and also some hacks as well. So for all you W203 owners out there, I hope that the content I produce on this channel is to your liking. Mind you, this is a two liter, four cylinder supercharge, and it is a six speed manual as well. So this car is a really cool little car to drive. It also does really well with um, gas mileage. I've had this car now for about four to five years, and it really has made my driving experience really fun. Nothing beats the, the feel of a manual car, especially in something like this, you know, a Mercedes Benz. You know, a lot of people think of it as luxury, apart from when you own something like a C32 or a C63. But personally, even with a, a two, two liter four cylinder supercharge, it was a really fun experience, especially being rear wheel drive. I mean, that's just priceless for me. But in the end, this is the car that made me want to buy the W204. So, you know, I have to give props to this W203. Um, it made me love Mercedes Benz because when I was buying this car, I only ever owned BMWs. And when I first had the opportunity to buy a Mercedes Benz, I was looking to buy the W202 first. But then after I'd seen the W203, I just fell in love with it. You know, just the, the way the car looks, the, the style of headlights, and then seeing some of the cool things that I could buy for it. In the end, I decided to go with this W203 and instantly I fell in love. Obviously, it looks a whole lot better than it, it did at the start, as you can imagine. When these things are standard, they still look really nice. The rear tail lights stand out above all, and also the front grille and the shape of the headlight. After modifying it to my liking, I really did enjoy driving this every day. Even to this day, um, I really do love it. It's so fun to drive still, especially going from manual to automatic and then back to manual. It's just really fun and you get that really sporty feel from it. And having that supercharger on it just gives you that little bit more kick. However, I do have plans to sell it eventually, but at the moment, I will produce as much content as possible while I still have it. Now I'm just going to give you guys a quick walk around of the car. Okay, first things first, in the engine bay, managed to service it myself. I wanted to do some video showing you guys how to do things like that. I know there are a ton of videos about all that already, but I figured I may as well show you guys as well. Now the engine covers are off at the moment because I just did a, a quick service. Uh, this is the red top. I've just changed the, um, matte filter in there to a high flow style one just to get a little bit more airflow and then as you can see here i changed the uh, bonnet ornament to uh, a flat badge one like this and i've also done the headlights as you can see there they used to have the standard headlights but now i've changed them to the projector style headlights i've also done the uh, 18 inch rims they used to have just standard wheels on here i did the tint i have done the S-Class style tail lights. Also put this uh, little spoiler on. I did the uh, reverse camera, which I'm finishing at the moment. It is a C200 compressor, so it is a two liter four cylinder supercharger. I've done a catback exhaust system. Um, I got the Super Sprint one. This was a expensive add-on. It's just catback. It was well over a thousand dollars. I really do enjoy the sound. I'll give you guys a uh, demo of what it sounds like, even just catback. It's got a sunroof. I will take a look inside. Uh, this door handle broke after a while, so I replaced that. That's why it looks so new. It has the wooden grain interior. I changed the uh, door pins. Uh, I never stuck this down because I didn't really see the point in sticking it down, so I just left it there. If I wanted to, I could always just peel it off at the bottom here. As you can see, the red is still there, but I'm just going to leave that for now. And then, of course, there is the speakers, tweeters. If you look in the interior now, as you can see, I'm doing a little bit of work in here. I just put these covers on here, these silver ones. Um, that was the style that I enjoyed back then. Just installed this double din head unit. Changed all the lights to um, LEDs. Tried changing the cluster. I put these uh, silver trims around the cluster. And then uh, the silver continues on to that side there. And I put 
a new gear stick on here compared to the standard one as you can see the leather's really nice the gear stick's really nice it matches the gear pattern got the original mercedes mats don't mind all this uh clutter as you can see i've got the book here for the car so uh, anytime i need anything i will uh, take a look at the book there used to be the phone here but as you can see all i did was i cut that right off i really didn't see the point of having the phone here anymore the phone's just here i've just put it away i'm never really going to use that phone ever again and this head unit has everything you know like bluetooth connectivity phone connectivity etc so as you can see i've stripped out the interior at the moment because um i had to install this and i also ran a reverse camera i have the parts for the interior and I just wanted to show you so that's the chrome piece that um, sits on top of this actually I have that sitting on this like so you know don't ask me why I do that but um, it's just the style that I enjoyed back then I really like the um, the silver finish and I really wanted to match it so uh, yeah that's why um, I had these um, bought and put on um, I'm thinking about taking them off and uh, I might give them away we'll see what happens and yeah so that's about it guys that's my interior of the W203 I really haven't done much more to it than that. Um, I was very happy with driving it every day. It's a six speed manual. It's really fun to drive. It's a very solid car. No problems with ESL. And to tell you the truth, it still looks very dated, you know? Like it doesn't look too old and it doesn't look too new. It kind of just fits right in the middle. I have the HIDs installed as well. I've upgraded the lights to HIDs. Um, I've got the LED parking lights. There are a few common faults with the W203 as well, um, but we'll save that for another video. But yeah, guys, that's basically it. This is the W203 C200 Compressor 2000 model. I was going to lower the car originally, but I really didn't see the point in doing that. I know I could have just lowered this car, but... um. I really am happy with the way that it's seated at the moment you know there's nothing wrong with it sitting the way it does i think it looks just normal you know, there really is a lot that you can do to this car but um i decided that i didn't want to do that as it was just going to be my everyday drive especially once i knew i was going to get a w204 but i will say that it is because of this w203 that i decided to buy the w204 and i'm really happy that i did do that Originally, I was going to buy the W202, but once I saw the W203, I had to have it. I always admired the shape of this car. I thought it was really cool. I loved the way the lights were shaped, the grill, and also the ornament. I loved the way that all came together originally. In the end, as you can see, I changed it to the sportier look by putting this W204 style grill on there. And I also did the... Uh, antenna on the back there it's just a cool little looking antenna i also wanted to show you that i also have the rear strut brace of course i have the tire valves as well as you can see here i've also got the rear strut brace right there i had to cut holes in the side in order to make it fit nicely that's it there my rear strut brace just to give it a little bit more balance you know when i'm turning corners etc i'm installing the uh, rear camera at the moment so everything's pulled apart that's the rear camera right there I'll give you guys a quick listen before I go of what the exhaust sounds like it's just a cat back system super sprint exhaust system So that was kept at about 2,000, 3,000 revs. And also, I wanted to show you that I did do the pedals as well. Okay, there we go. We have the W204 style pedals. Yes, it is a manual. And then we have our footrest there. Uh, I replaced the uh, the buttons here on the on the driver side. They were uh, a bit faded and they broke, so 
I decided to replace them. I've got the 10,000K fog lights, and then I've got the 6,000K LED headlights. I think that looks pretty banging, don't you reckon? I mean, I could always change the fog lights to match the uh, headlights, but I think that little touch of blue looks pretty cool, don't you? My W203 C200 compressor. But overall, I am happy with how my car turned out. And so I really wanted to share with you guys, you know, some of the cool things that I've done to my car and also some of the tips and tricks that I've learned along the way. So I will be releasing a lot of content relating directly to this W203. So if you have a W203, consider subscribing and follow me along to learn some cool tips and tricks and also some uh, DIY tips as well. I will be releasing a lot of content relating to the W203 while still also doing W204 content. I hope to bring more a lot of content to the channel so that I can show you guys a whole lot more DIY tips and also tips and tricks in general. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell in order to keep up with the uploads. Until next time guys, this is Mike with Mikey's Vlogs, signing off.